In this problem, we have some infinitely long wire, and we're trying to find the electric, or sorry, the uh, electric potential at some point S, which is this point S, and that point S is a distance S away from that infinitely long wire. And the way we have to do that is by the definition that we have from the textbook of the electric potential, which is the uh, negative integral from some reference point to that point S. And that is the uh, evaluated at the dot between the electric field and the distance, which is actually, this should be a vector here. And uh, the way that we're going to do this, and, and we know from the textbook that if we have something like infinitely long, or if this was an infinitely long plane right here, uh, the so choosing some reference point that is uh, in infinity wouldn't necessarily work because the more you zoom out away from something that's uh, infinitely long, um, the more you're going to see something that's infinitely big. So the, using the reference point of infinity won't work. So the way we're going to do it is we're just going to use some sort of reference point. Um, we'll just call that initial reference point. And we'll do some reference point called a S naught, or S naught is just some distance. Uh, away from the, uh, the, uh, the point that we'll use is S. And the way that we're going to go ahead and signify that with our integral is we'll just go ahead and call it, uh, let's see here, S0. We're going to go from S0 to S, right? S0 could be anything, could be a small distance away, could be really, really big, but as long as we have some sort of finite uh, distance away from the point S here. And then another thing that we're going to do is that we know from previous problems and, and using Gauss's law to uh, find out the electric field en encompassed uh, in this uh, infinitely long wires, the electric field is equal to this. And you can go back at earlier chapters in chapter two to uh, determine how we figured that out. But we're going to start there for our electric field, and that's going to be uh, one over two pi epsilon naught. And, oh yeah, by the way, sorry, the uh, electric, the infinitely long wire has a, uh, has a charge density of lambda, just like the rest of the problem. So it's going to be lambda over uh, S, and it points in the S hat direction, since we're look, working with cin cylindrical coordinates here. So where S points this way, Z points this way, and we have a phi uh, direction this way. And that electric field is going to be dotted with our DL, and our DL is just going to be a DS putting the S hat direction where that is some infinitely some small distance from, uh, from this point to this point here in the S hat direction. So let's go ahead and evaluate this integral. Since they both point in the S hat direction, we can turn that dot product into an actual multiplication. We'll pull out the constants here. And what we have left is an integral from S naught to S of 1 over s ds. And assuming our calculus isn't too rusty, we know that's just going to be the natural log of, uh, of those two values here. All right, so that is our, uh, that's our electric potential right there. It's a scalar value, and it's a natural log. And the way we know that the using infinity would be a bad value is because uh, if we had infinity down here, uh, this wouldn't work out too well because we have a natural log of zero. So uh, that's a good point, good reason on why we can't really use infinity for these problems for reference point when we have infinitely long charge densities or charges. Um, but in, in reality, nothing's necessarily infinitely long. We can always uh, walk away and, and try to evaluate something until it goes to zero. But in these textbook problems, that's why there's that uh, discontinuity there. So the next portion is just verifying that the potential that we got is actually equal to the electric field, which we got before. And it also kind of highlights the fact that if we're given a potential, just some scalar potential, we can know everything about the electric field at every point in space and time and space about that uh, about that charge uh, uh, system, and that's pretty useful. So the way we do that is we take the negative gradient of the potential. And that is going to be equal to our electric field. And the way we start right now is the uh, negative gradient of uh, V in cylindrical coordinates. And that's going to be equal to this right here. We should put the negative sign here. And this is found in the uh, inside cover of the textbook. Or you can just look up the definition of the gradient in cylindrical coordinates. But one thing to note right here is that we have... Um, we have phi partials, which there's no phi's in our uh, our potential, so that goes to zero. And the same thing goes for the d 
partial and all that is left is uh, the negative gradient of our uh, electric potential for that for that value right there so what we'll go ahead and do is let's see here scroll up so we'll go ahead and evaluate that negative um, partial in respect to s of lambda 2 pi epsilon naught this is our our uh, potential that we just found here we go and it was negative so we can just do the plus sign out here and then we'll go ahead and so this integral moves past these constants and just attacks that um, oh, by the way it's uh, th there's an s hat we picked up the s hat from the the gradient and then whenever we do that uh, grad or that yeah that gradient um, what we'll get is a positive two pi epsilon naught and then the the partial in respect to s of this right here is just the uh, 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 the derivative of one over our natural log of s which is just one over s and that puts us right back where we started from and that in fact is our electric field that we originally had right here so pretty cool how we can just take some scalar value if we're if we were originally given this we can just take some scalar value with no information about directions and we can know everything we want to know about the electric field for the system pretty cool